I'm Jay Kimmelman. I am the e-commerce industry lead for High Rock Accounting. So this was a tax client. They were doing really well. They were doing about a million dollars in sales. They were trending towards a million five this year. And they were selling on Amazon and Shopify. The company was very successful selling online and their accounting was always an afterthought. They were always about a year behind and we would work with them when we would do their tax returns. But by the time we got there, you know, basically they were recording their sales from Amazon or their deposits from Amazon and Shopify net. So their revenues were understated and as were their costs. So they weren't very accurate. So here we are, the pandemic hit and fast forward, they had a pivot. So they were buying all of their goods that they were selling online from a Chinese supplier and ends up the supplier got shut down due to COVID. They needed to find new suppliers that could provide the products they wanted to sell online. Luckily, they were able to find a new supplier. Unluckily, that supplier had other requirements they needed to meet. So not having a relationship with this vendor, the vendor required 50% down with the purchase order. And then they had to prepay the remainder of the invoice prior to shipping. So the problem was they had some cash in the bank, but due to the uncertainty, you know, everything was shut down. There was not knowing what was going to happen. They were very weary about sending $50,000 to pay the down payment on this purchase order to a vendor. So the solution to the problem was they needed to get a line of credit or some other funding to get the cash flow they needed. The problem was their accounting was an afterthought. So we needed to go back and get them some good numbers so that they could provide the banks, the lending institutions, et cetera, some good information so that they could make a good business decision. Given the uncertainty of the times, they had cash in the bank, but it really didn't meet their runway to get them through the rest of the year. So they really were reliant upon getting this line of credit. And if they didn't, there was a real risk they would end up out of business because they wouldn't have product to sell. And if they didn't have that product to sell, it didn't matter how much cash was in the bank, there'd be no more cash coming in. And, you know, there's the risk and truly the scary part of this story. Luckily, we had a tax relationship with this client and they were seeing some of my videos I was doing at the time. So they hit me up right away and we booked a call and we started talking through this scenario. So this client accounting has always been an afterthought and we would help them through it, clean it up and do their tax returns. But now they realize that once was an afterthought is really a necessity. And they really had to have good numbers and good clean books in order to get financing. E-commerce bookkeeping is not your typical bookkeeping. It's a little more complex than your average brick and mortar business. And at High Rock, we have that expertise in working with e-commerce businesses, which allowed us to quickly assist this client and get them what, exactly what they needed. So we spent about three weeks getting their zero file cleaned up and getting it to the point where they had good books and accurate numbers. And we were able to help them get the financing they needed. They were able to place the purchase order, make the payments, get the goods in and get them out to market. That was a true win-win.